driving past any cars tonight No window lights, not a soul in sight I took a wrong turn, you're broken down This far out, what happens now? You can always stay here tonight Close the door, turn out the lights When the nightmares come easily Don't be scared, soon you'll fill a vacancy Hello. Hi. Are these your beautiful cars out here in the back? They are. My name is Brian. I'm a photographer. I'm doing a project on classic cars and their owners, and I was wondering if I could get a picture of whoever owns those. So I just picked up Joel Sternfeld's Stranger Passing, and I did it mostly because I love his work so much, but I also picked it up because I needed an intro to this video. But I picked it up because I just love the portraits that he has in there. Um, it's just everyday people doing everyday things in everyday places. And I just love that. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm doing a project about people and their classic cars. And the whole preface behind that is that I'm taking photos of people with their classic car. So I always have the conversation starter of saying, I'm doing this project about classic cars and their owners, can I take your picture? And I kind of want to get away from that and stop using that as a crutch because I want to take portraits more like Joel Sternfeld's in Stranger Passing, just like everyday people doing everyday things. And I wanted to kind of test that out by going out to Evansville, Illinois, which is a small town in Southern Western Illinois. You can literally toss a rock from one side to the other and uh, I wanted to go out there mainly because the people are just so relaxed and so easy to talk to and it makes me more comfortable. So I thought it would be a good idea to go out there and try to get a portrait of a stranger without a classic car under my belt. So I went out there and I first came across these crosses and I just took this photo because um, I wanted to kind of warm up and just get out there and just take a photo, kind of get my nerves um, under control because you know how I kind of am going out uh, with the 4x5 but I took this photo and it turned out pretty well uh, I just liked the composition the lighting wasn't the best it was pretty harsh but it was a nice one to start out um, I took this next photo in actually Evansville in the city um, I liked this one because I was able to get up uh, in this bank parking lot and look down on the grain structure and the river behind it and Joel Sternfeld is known for getting these high vantage points in American Prospects so I kind of wanted to do that and pay homage to him because I just really like the way that it looks and you can get a sense of scale and a sense of the whole scene with the detail that you can get from up there and I love the way that this one turned out it's a lot better than the next shot that I'm going to show you which was taken on a sidewalk looking down the road and I'm going to show you this first shot that I took. This is the uncropped version. Um, a lot of dead space in the upper left hand corner and a lot of just nothing going on. A lot of sky. And the beauty of large format and 4x5 is that you can crop in and that's exactly what I did in the second photo and you can see it's a much better composition. If I had to go back I would probably just use my 210 millimeter lens instead of the 150 but um, I was just trying to get when you're up highlight that and you're trying to get 
um, everything in the photo. It's easy to try to get too much and not focus on uh, two or three, three things that you really want to have in the photo, and that's what I should have done. But you live and you learn, so uh, I got this one and cropped it in, and it turned out pretty nice. I also wanted to mention Joel Sternfeld's career in general because he did start photography in 1970, and he didn't finish this, this Stranger project until 2000. And that's a 30-year gap where he was starting photography, learning the skill, learning the trade, and then finishing this project uh, in general. And I think that gets lost on a lot of people because social media, instant gratification, people thinking they need to make a project in a certain amount of time, or if they have a certain amount of pictures, then they need to put it out into a book or something like that. And I'm guilty of that myself because I put out my first zine or magazine, whatever you want to call it, super quick and it was rushed and it was nowhere near what I wanted it to be. But I put it out there because I felt the pressure to do it. And he started this project in 1985 and he finished it in 2000. That's 15 years. That's uh, more than half my life that he worked on this one project. And that's why it's so good and that's why it's touched so many people because he took the time and he got the portfolio all together and he put the work and the hours into it to make the best uh, project that he could. Right before I was leaving um, Evansville, I saw this road le leaning down to a service station. I saw that the light was hitting this window really nicely. So I went down there and I started to set up a shot and this girl came over and she said she actually owned it and it was her late father's old service station. And we talked a little bit and she left up to the house to the right of the actual service station. And I proceeded to take this shot, which I really liked because the light was just hitting it perfectly. And uh, I mean, anyone can take a shot like this, but I never have uh, myself and I always wanted to. And it, I just couldn't pass it up because the light was hitting it perfectly. And, it turned out really nice. Um, I thought about shooting this in color, but I had black and white loaded up and I thought I was gonna be done for the day, but got this in black and white. And then I was packing up, ready to go home. And I had Joel Sternfeld pop into my head and he was screaming at me saying, I needed to go and get, get Jeannie, who was the woman, and take her portrait. So I went up and knocked on the door and she agreed to a portrait. She came down and she was wearing this red shirt. So I knew I had to shoot it in color. And I got this portrait and it turned out really good. Um, it was nice to know that um, I can actually go up to just a random stranger and say, I'm doing this, uh, can I get your portrait? And not have to have the crutch or the preface of saying that it's based around cars or it's gonna be in front of a car or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little rundown of Joel Sternfeld's work. Again, thank you for the support. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to making the next one.